Hey guys, I am going to show you how to do a shop and deliver order for Walmart Spark. I know some of you guys have been asking about this and I was like, I would love to make a video on this. I finally got an offer. It is for $24.19 and the mileage is good. 2.9. All of the Walmart Spark orders that are shop and pay that I've accepted have always been over $20. So they pay really good. The mileage is usually reasonable. And so far the shopping has gone smooth for me. It's pretty straightforward. You get pictures, you get the aisle number. So I am going to take you along step-by-step step to show you how to do this. And this particular Walmart is actually further than where I typically go, but I'm like the pay is good. So it took me about 15 minutes to get here. Totally still worth it. I am about to head in there and get to shopping. I had already slid start delivery. So I'm going to go ahead and hit resume now that I am here at the Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that and it's going to go ahead and ask me to confirm arrival. So I am going to go ahead and slide that. And the next screen is going to tell me, please wait while we get everything set up, wait for it to load. Okay. Things to keep in mind, keep meat and produce separate, place produce, meat and seafood directly in a meat sleeve or produce bag. Ask for help. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask an associate. And I have done that a few times when I couldn't find an aisle. I think it said like aisle 200. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Come to find out it's one of the end caps. I think it was like, he told me like a hundred aisle, a hundred and aisle 200 are like end caps at the end of the aisles. So I was like, thank you for that tip. That will come in handy later on down the road. So always ask an associate if you can't find something it's better to ask than try to wander around and uh, waste more time especially if you can find an associate so i'm gonna go ahead and tap preview shopping list and it gives me a preview of the shopping list so i have to shop for eight items which is not bad at all and it will show you if you look over to the right it'll show you the quantity and each one so far is one of each now if it has two of each and your grocery list is showing eight that's even even simpler so but right now it's looking like it's one of each not bad and then I have to go to the bakery too so I am gonna go ahead and hit press start shopping now I will say top right corner it does show start delivery by and it says 648 I am running a little bit behind because I did have to drive 15 minutes to get here um, but it will also give me the time that I need to drop it off by so it says eight items I'm gonna go ahead and press start Start shopping the first item that pops up is some Doritos and I need that's gonna be easy the chip aisle is usually pretty easy to find but it gives me the aisle number aisle a for section 20 so it's very detailed that's what I love about sparks shop and deliver orders the other thing that I wanted to say is when I had first started with Walmart spark I was like ah I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know what I'm getting myself into because if you've done shop and deliver orders for other platforms, sometimes, you know, you can get held up and it's a little bit more complicated. I wasn't ready to do it at that point, but I got another one and I did it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually really straightforward. It's easy. They provide pictures, aisle, section, everything. And if you can't find something, the associates have always been super helpful. Checkout is really easy too. So I'm going to go through all of that. So I definitely do not mind taking shop and deliver orders at all. Like I said, pay's been good. Mileage has been good. So we are going to go ahead and head in there and get to shopping. All right, guys. All right. So first aisle is going to be aisle A4 section 20. So I am going to head straight to the chips and that should be to my right. So we've made it to the chip aisle. You got your aisles up there. And then the sections are gonna be up here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. So you got section 15, section 14. And I am looking for section 20. All right, here is the Doritos. It looks like it's the Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch flavored. So where, let's see, and it's section 20 which section 20 is right up there. And I am seeing, aha, is that it? It sure is. Okay, 
Now we are going to go ahead and scan this item. So I'm going to go ahead and tap scan barcode and it will let me know if it's the wrong item. So I'm going to go ahead and scan and it went through. So if it's the wrong item, it's going to let me know. Now, thank goodness they only wanted one bag because that's all they have. So they want another bag of Doritos. It looks like the sweet chili flavored, which they have plenty of those. They just want one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and tap scan barcode. Scan. Done. Next is the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So another easy one. We're in the chip aisle. So this is actually a really easy order and a lot of them have been pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and scan, grab the bag, and scan. Okay, done. Now they want ruffles. Somebody's having a chip night. Ruffles. So again, a four section 23 kind of guides you along. So I just need to go up here a little bit more and it's the sour cream and they want one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and hit scan barcode and scan. We are on a roll now. I have the Pringle, so A518, which should be right around here. Let me see here. All right, so I've made it to A5, section 18, and they want the Pringles potato crisp chips, sour cream. And is it these ones? It looks like it. And of course, it will tell me if it's wrong, so I'm going to go ahead and scan. See, wrong UPC. So it is the wrong one. I guess it says scorching. <laughs> so there it is. Same color, but obviously a little bit different. But it's nice that it'll let you know that it is the wrong item. So you're not grabbing the wrong item. So I'm going to go ahead and tap scan barcode again. Grab the correct one and scan. And it went through. All right. So now I need to go to section seven on aisle five. So which is this way. So again, um, it's giving section seven for the item and they want Cheez-Its. So we are here with the Cheez-Its. I just have to find the right product and hopefully they have it. All right, I just needed to step back and it is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan this barcode and they want one of them. So we are good to go. Now we need to find cookies. So they are wanting the crispy toffee, which I see them right here. go ahead and grab that scan the barcode so we are good there other cool thing in the top right hand corner it's going to show you how many items you have left so i have one item left it also shows me that i need to start the delivery in 10 minutes so i still got a little bit of time i feel like they give you adequate time to get the shopping done so we're going to go find the last item and then we're going to go to checkout so it's telling me it's in the fresh bakery so we're going to head there now all right, guys, I have somebody helping me look for the last item because it is a little bit difficult to find. And I just got a notification time is running out. Just a reminder, you have less than five minutes left to shop. Um, I'm sure we can find these nuts in about five minutes. It's like I've seen them before. But aisle 26 like and the peanut butter mm -hmm. snack mix bowl. And it says section 53. That's like, that's like and it says fresh them. bakery, too. A few different Sometimes. clues. Yeah, so I'm curious if it's like hidden like on an end cap. We've got three minutes left and these nuts are causing a problem. <laughs> I might have to cancel this one if we can't find it. Yeah. Uh -oh. Cause they only, I got one minute left. <laughs> oh no. Start delivery, yeah. Cause it would be here. Okay. Yeah. And it don't look like any of these are it. No. Okay. And then the other one you already checked as well? Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't, you know, it's kind of a bigger container. Yeah. Okay, well, I can't find it, so <laughs> right. I appreciate you guys' help and thank you. That. No worries. All right, I had to tap can't find order. Um, sometimes it'll give you a suggestion or tell you to find something similar, but in this case, um, it just put me to shopping finished. All right, it says shopping finish, head to self checkout area, start bagging. You don't need to scan the items. 
the customer has prepaid and will receive a digital receipt. So we are gonna go to the self checkout. There is gonna be a QR code for me to scan. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue so we can move on. So it's gonna ask me how many bags we're gonna get up there. I'm gonna bag it and then um, I'll scan the QR code. All right, so I ended up needing three bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and type three in hit done and then tap the next button now it does say self checkout bag the items at an available register keep me and produce separate uh, anti-theft devices wait until associate removes any security devices on an item before bagging it food safety separate chemicals and pet products from food and cold items group items based on temperature so i'm going to go ahead and tap next and then it says scan qr code so I'm gonna go ahead and scan the QR code on the terminal right here. And it's scanned and it says, wait a minute, good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and proceed. And have I exited the store? I have not, so I'm gonna wait till I do that. Thanks again, have a good day. Have a good night. Thanks, good night. All right, guys, the, the shopping trip started off nice and smooth. Um, but of course, the last item, nobody knew where it was, couldn't find it, um, had a lot of employees, even a manager on the case, and we could not locate the nuts. So I had to put could not find items. So most of the time it goes pretty smooth. Of course, it's not always gonna go smooth, but um, this is one instance where an item couldn't be found. Um, I had quite a bit of people trying to help locate these nuts and nobody could find them. It's pretty straightforward, like I said. If you can't find anything, that's what the associates are there for, but unfortunately they couldn't help me find the last item and it is what it is. I tried my hardest to find their nuts for them. So we are gonna go ahead and slide start delivery and um, get this Starting order route. dropped off. I am running a little bit late for the drop-off. Um, I was trying to find those nuts and the time ended up ending on me, so I had to get checked out. So the customer is about eight minutes, 2.9 miles. I am gonna message him that I am on my way and we're gonna get this order dropped off. All right, order is dropped off. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide confirm drop off and we are all done. Now on this page, it shows you, you completed the order, gives the customers details. How was your overall experience delivering this order? If you want to, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if there was an issue, but we're not gonna do that. Everything went smooth. It is an apartment, easy to find. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap the done button. All right, one thing I will say that I forgot to do, I when I got in the car, I forgot got to ring or knock so I did run back to the door and ring the doorbell I'm having to get into the hang of knocking or ring the doorbell because with food delivery I don't do that unless specified within the app and with Walmart spark they want you to ring or knock to let the customer know that their items have been dropped off so that's what I ended up having to do sometimes you forget and you got to run back out there and do it um, some people will send messages and let them know that the order's been dropped off you can do that as well but I just knock or ring to let the customer know that their order is there unless specified not to do so for the most part it was not bad the chips went really smooth like I mentioned before it was the nuts that held up the whole show uh, that's gonna happen it comes with the territory but for twenty four dollars and nineteen cents it it was worth it it was definitely worth it and again you have associates there to help you find things if you run into an issue so in total it took me about 38 minutes to complete the entire order from the time that i got it to when i dropped the order off at the customers then right after i got done completing that order i did get another offer from spark now this one is curbside pickup for 29 dollars and 54 cents for 5.7 miles I have to drive back 15 minutes, but the pay is definitely worth it. So I'm going to be doing that next. I hope this video helped you guys out on what to expect with a shop and deliver. I would say it is definitely worth giving it a shot. I know Spark will offer incentives for your first shop and deliver order. I have made over $100 in incentives just for doing shop and deliver orders, and I've done quite a bit now because they do pay really well. I appreciate you guys riding along with me as always and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.